Welcome to my G128 Day 4 review, as uh, we have really nothing going on on the undercard, nothing too noteworthy here, so we'll start with the block matches. Second day of block B, we have Tama Tonga versus Sonata as the opener. Uh, Tama tries to do the Paradise Lock, which was a callback from uh, when he tried it, and he had no idea how to do it, he yelled at Milano. Uh, but this time... He actually does do it, but uh, he doesn't really lock it in. And Sonata just gets right back up when Tama rolls him over. Uh, Tongaloa gets involved. This time the referee sees it, throws him out. So there's a little continuity there finally. After the interferences from uh, Bullet Club uh, firing squad, someone gets thrown out of a match. As a paradise lock from Sonata. As a referee bump from Tama Tonga. As uh, now the referee's down. Sonata hits Tama Tonga with a gun stun. Fala and Tongaloa get involved, attack Sonata. Tongaloa hits a big time power bomb. Uh, Tama Tonga gets a pin on Sonata. He kicks out of the power bomb. Sonata goes for skulls and Tongaloa gets back on the apron. Sonata stabs him by running Tama Tonga into Tongaloa. Gets a roll up with a bridge and he gets the win. Sonata with two points. Fun little opener, you know. You have the story of the Bullet Club VC, uh, the Bullet Club firing squad guys getting involved, and uh, you know just uh, some shenanigans. Easy thing, easy story to follow for the opener. So that's no harm, no foul there. Uh, so now getting two points. Nice to see that. That's uh, Zack Saber Jr. versus Toriano. Uh, the cr they go into the crowd early in the match. Zack puts Yano on the figure four leg walk between the barricade. Cool little spot there. As uh, using the uh, barricade kind of as a weapon and as a uh, a placeholder for a move, uh, Yana gets back into the ring in time. Cool spot here with Zach carrying a punch with a jumping triangle. I'm a sucker for that. Anytime someone does a uh, jumping triangle, looks cool as shit. As uh, Yana looks like he, um, Yana at first tries to power bomb Zack Saber Jr. free of the triangle. But Zack hangs on. It looks like Yano's gonna pass out. He gets the ropes in time, though. Nice little spot there. I thought that was gonna be the end of the match there. Uh, Zack blocks the low blow. Does the European clutch. Yano kicks out a two. Yano grabs the buckle pad. The referee grabs it from him. Uh, Zack tries to, like, grab it back from the ref to use it. But Yano low blows him. As, uh, does a roll up. Kicks out a two. Right after he kicks out, Zack locks in an armbar. Zack does a European clutch again, but this time he gets the win as uh, Zack Sabre Jr. with two points. Uh, very... I, I thought for sure Yano was going to win that match. I don't know why. Just the uh, with the story they've been building over, thought uh, Yano would get a win there. But, you know, it's still early. You know, Zack just... Getting, obviously, Zack's going to finish with like 10 points, so, you, you know, it's... A thing that's gonna happen. Just was kind of like a surprise that happened. But I was actually expecting a little bit more of Yano bringing it to him. This was kind of more of that same Yano I've seen before. I thought he was gonna have that same pace he brought for the Ishii match. But, you know, what can you do? Juice Robinson versus Kota Bushi in the next match right away. You know it's going to be a change of pace with these two, just uh, with the handshaking uh, spot at the beginning. You know there's not going to be any shenanigans in there. It's going to be a, a clean match. Nothing crazy is going to happen as far as interference or uh, ref bumps or anything like that. Running Cannonball off the apron from Juice. Uh, Juice counters the triangle moonsault from Bushi with a superplex on the top rope. Juice hits a powerbomb, but Bushi kicks out a two. Abushi hits an awesome hurricane run off the apron, just beautifully done there. Falls up with a moonsault off the ring post on the Juice, who's now in the crowd. Holy shit. Big time stuff there. Gut buster from Juice, Abushi kicks out at two. Uh, Abushi with the straight jacket German suplex into the golden trigger for the win. Abushi with four points. One for three on prediction so far. I'll take a 2 out of 5 if I finish it out, but I just hope I don't finish with 1 out of 5. So one thing, hopefully at least throughout these predictions, I don't get a 0 out of 5. I get a dud on the day. That would be uh, real embarrassing. As uh, Next match, we got the co-main event, and honestly, 
maybe the match of the night. It's either the co-main or the main as the match of the night. I'm going to lean with the co-main as the match of the night for me, but if you go with the main events, no harm, no foul there. Really, they're neck and neck. Yeah, Tomohiro Ishii versus Tetsuya Naito. Ishii chops the shit out of Naito after Naito slaps him on the top of the forehead. Uh, Ishii absorbs the top rope drop kick from uh, Naito and then shoulder blocks him into the buckle. It's uh, just just a cool spot there with Ishii just looking like a killer. Uh, sunset flip, power bomb from Naito from the top of rope. Flying form from Naito gets countered on German suplex. Naito goes for it again. This time he hits it though. Uh, it's Lariat from Ishii turns Naito inside out. He fucking killed him with it. Headbutt from Ishii into a power bomb. I thought that was going to be it, but Naito kicks out it too. Ishii hits a sliding Lariat. Naito kicks out again. Lariat from Ishii. Naito kicks out another time. Naito counters a brain buster from Ishii with a Destino. Cool little spot there. That's the thing about the Destino, man. He'll pull off that Destino just very late into a counter with a move. And, it, you know, he's kind of like half-assed does it. So usually the guy kicks out of it, but it's still a cool-ass counter. Always a pop for that. Naito gets back to his feet and hits a, uh, the full Naito. It's the full Destino version. Where, you know, ducks under the arm and does the full flip. Gets the win. What a fucking match. Enjoyed the shit out of that. Uh, post-match, Naito takes out Red Shoes with like an eye rake of some sort. As uh, Naito with two points there. It's Kenny Omega versus Hiroki Goto for the main event champion versus champion match. Uh, both go for their finishers early in the match. No surprise there. That's kind of a uh, staple of these big time matches. Just seeing guys go for the finishers early on. Awesome spot with Goto knocking Omega down with a chair. While Omega goes for his springboard to the outside. Just any time a chair throws spots involved. I pop. So I'll take that. Hangman GTR off the apron with uh, from Goto. That was a cool little spot. Way to use, again, using that Hangman GTR. This time using it uh, from the outside. That uh, Love that. Uh, they fight into the crowd. Scoop slam from Omega onto a bleacher. Of course, uh, Cork and Hall's got those wooden bleachers. So that's probably... A uh, shitty bump to take as Omega does a moonsault off a railing onto Goto and some young lions. Of course, you gotta make that uh, a bit of a big dive just in case Omega fucks up and misses. So get everybody involved there. They get back into the ring as uh, you, the You Can't Escape combo gets a two count from Omega. Yuragoshi from Goto. He doesn't go for the pin. A crazy spot here. Goto hits a code red from the middle rope. That was something. Holy shit, gets a two count. Has uh, both men trading strikes. Dragon suplex from Omega. Omega goes off the ropes. Gets caught into a lariat from Goto. GTR into a Shouten. Omega kicks out of two. Always love to see the Shouten from Goto. He'll pull it out from the basement every now and again from these uh these G1 matches. He'll just pull out a Shouten. As Omega gets a roll up on Goto for a two count. V trigger into the Oi Shouten. Gets a two count, which is like the cross leg fisherman buster. When it was in Deep South, they called it the Omega Driver. For those, uh, if you don't know what that is. <laughs> it's a uh, V trigger into the one wing angel from Omega. Gets the win. Omega starting off strong. Gave us 2 0. Give us four points. Two out of five right up the predictions for day four. I'll take it. Uh, thank you all for watching. And I'll catch you all tomorrow for the G1 Climax 28 Day 5 Reviews. Hell yeah, we got through this hella quick. Just under 10 minutes. I'll fucking take it. Take care, everyone.